chaos is you 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 I see you see I tried I tried I tried doing a Jeff Goldblum imitation it didn't work you probably thought that's what I was doing right away you're like hey that's Jeff Goldblum no it was it was but it wasn't it wasn't really good I always preferred Goldblum from Ragnarok a little more than Goldblum from Jurassic Park but that's a different narrative that's a different story Chaos, though. Remember Jurassic Park? Jeff Goldblum kept talking about chaos theory. I Meaning you, you can't predict what's going to happen. You put the, the drop of water on the hand, it goes, goes, goes this side. And you put the drop of the hand, goes goes that side. So you never know what's going to happen. And that's kind of our life, isn't it? You don't know what's going to happen later today. You think you know. You have a plan. You have a calendar. You have stuff set. But you don't know the variables. You don't know what's going to happen to you. And what do we do usually with that? We get anxious. We worry. We think about it. What if? What if? What if? And not the cool Marvel what if show, but bad what ifs. Like, okay, I have this test today. What happens if the teacher gives an exam that I have no clue what's on it because I didn't study for it? Or what if I get to school and I forgot my pants? You know, something like that. I talk about too many personal stories, I guess. But what ifs? And they just run and run and run. And does it ever happen? No. It, it rarely ever happens. Those what-ifs that are created in our chaotic life. Matthew 6 is a great passage. Matthew 6, 23 through 34 is Jesus talking about the lilies of the field, the birds of the air. And there's a very famous verse where he says, do not worry. This is the problem. He never says, don't worry. What he says is, stop worrying. And you can say, well, that's semantics. You're just breaking words apart and being nitpicky about it. No, it does change how you understand this. Don't worry means you have nothing to worry about. Jesus never says that. He never says there's nothing to worry about in this life. He never says it's all peaches and cream. In fact, it's terrible most of the time. And he says that as they treated me, it's going to be worse for you. What he says is stop worrying. Why? Because I got this. Because I've done all things well for you. Luke records the same thing, but he adds a phenomenal verse. It's actually one of my sons, my son Lachlan, his confirmation verse is, Worry not, it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's his good pleasure to give you all that is his. All that is his. All of his life, righteousness, holiness is yours. So stop worrying doesn't mean life's going to be fine. I'm not promising that, that when you walk out the door tomorrow morning, everything, there's going to be birds singing and everyone's going to love you and they're going to pick you up on their shoulders and carry you to school singing your favorite songs by, uh, I don't know who I was, I said Lady Gaga the other day, but maybe, maybe that's not your stick. Maybe you're like a Steely Dan person. I don't know. Maybe you're weird that way. But that's not going to happen. What is going to happen is all that chaotic stuff still. But Christ says, stop worrying. I got this. I have you. I'm not going to let go. No one can take your joy from you once I give it to you. So take heart. I have done all things well for you that in the midst of your chaos and crazy life, you may have that voice of peace that says, worry not. It's going to be okay. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.